Hello, hello, guys. Namaste. Hello. Parev. Ni hao. Dumilang. Kuyamor. Uh, Sanbunani. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have <laughs> we have uh, imagines here. Anyway, there's a shot here. There's a shot on this machine. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's go to a schematic. I don't have the exactly the same schematic for this board, but I'll show you the one that uh, matches, except that the numbering is not the same. Okay, here we are. You will have uh, PJ2. PJ2 is where you will connect your charger or a charger itself. You'll have two coils there, PL1, PL2, and you will have a diode PD4. After PD4, you will have PD13. Another diode after PT13 is a double diode. After PT13, you will have PT12, and then from there, you'll have a current sensor, and then it goes all over the board. Okay, let's go back here. Uh, I think we have to go under the microscope and see. Okay, this is the current sensor, right? Okay, let's start here. Let's start here. Let's start here. Okay, this thing here on top, this is, <coughs> this is our port charging port and then from there you move the power move from the charging port let's go straight here All right and then from here go straight to here pd5 from pd5 you should have 19 volts here uh you, you 19 volts will start from here obvious go straight here inside this diode pd5 after PD5, uh, it will go here, and then from here, it will jump and go right from this other side of this transistor or MOSFET. It will go straight on the current sensor. You will have the 19 volts on all these components. That's where you should have the 19 volts all over. Okay, so now what we, we need to do, let's check for a short. Let's check for shorts. So they told me that there was a shot to ground somewhere somewhere so we need to check for a shot what you do you connect one prop to ground there is a shot there is a shot to ground okay let me show you i hope you can see so what you do you connect one prop to ground right make sure your multimeter is on the continuity mode from this side of the mosfet there is no shot but from the other side there is a shot and anyway check here check here carefully here from the diode i mean from the coils we have no shots from these two coils there's no shots let me show you on the schematics so that you won't be confused okay from here from the charging ports there is no shots i hope you understand why from pl1 and pl2 there is no shots again but after PD13, there is a short. After PD13, there is a short. Let me repeat again. After PD13, there is a short. Short to ground. And again, when you move to PQ19, there is no short after PQ19. But before, there is a short. Okay, I hope you do understand that. Alright, the short is coming from this side here between it's here between PD13 and PQ19 because after PQ19 there is no short and before PQ13 on this other side there is no short so the short is within the only thing that can short cause a short here I'm telling you is this diode PD12 let's go back PD12 okay let me check again there's no shots okay wait hold on no shots no shots there is a shot there is a shot there is a shot there is a shot but after there is no shots let me show you again under the microscope these are two coils two inductors no shots 
even here obvious there is no short but after there is a short even here there is a short even here pd5 there is a short there is a short pd6 there is a short but after this transistor there is no short listen carefully it means the short is coming here this is the short this is the problem this is the cause let's remove this and then let's see Yeah, but we are going somewhere open there. But I will tell you longer. Okay, uh this is the diode. So this is how you check a diode, you touch on both sides and it's shorted. The multimeter is beeping one way. Uh this diode is completely shorted. It's just dead. So we have to replace that diode. Let's go back there. All right. So from here, we have to replace, we have to install another diode hold on Okay, guys, let's check for a short one more time. But I know the short is gone now. There is no short at all. It's the ground. The other side, there is no short. There is no short. So what you do, you connect a charger. Where is the power button? Where is the power button for this machine? Okay, let's try. It might turn on by itself without a power button. If it doesn't, no worries. We'll find a power button. Don't worry. And it doesn't turn on. It needs a power button. Okay, okay, guys, this is easy. We have the power button right here. Start. I'll be there. Connected, and then you twist for a power button. So normally, what you do, one probe to ground, connect there, and then you turn it on. Press the power button. It's turning on. It's taking one amp. Uh, nine hundred one amp again. Uh, 900 1 amp. Tara, we have a display. You can see we have a display, it's working 100%. Anyway, before I go, don't forget to subscribe, press the, the like button. Sharp, sharp, take care, guys.